Greetings one and all and welcome to another Deckard Games YouTube thing. Today we have another um, PC um, building thing because, well, I was uh, asked by a, a co-worker to uh, assemble a machine to uh, work from home while not spending more than uh, 150 euro dollars. So uh, we are talking about uh, not so new stuff and, uh, well, second-hand things, but uh, yeah, that's what we are going to um, do. I don't know, it's kind of a uh, another public service video, because if you um, do indeed need a PC to work from home, uh, let me say that the, the work won't be done on this PC, this uh, machine will remotely access the machine at work, and that is where most of the job will uh, be done. But again, a um, budget machine, again, 150 uh, euro dollars, and, uh, well, it is something that you can also use locally if you uh, do some uh, light work, if you use Microsoft Office and whatnot, if you, I don't know, maybe uh, an accountant or something, uh, you know, light work, you can uh, absolutely use something like this. And we are going to start with this uh, micro uh, ITX motherboard which uh, believe it or not it is from um, alienware so <laughs> uh, i don't know who makes this i don't know maybe uh, well maybe foxconn or something i don't know if it's dell or whatnot i don't know uh, luckily it is as you can see a standard micro itx motherboard so it is usable is it is not one of those uh, proprietary things with uh, different connectors and whatnot no it is all standard, so yeah, we can use this on a, um, a regular PC case and with a regular power supply and whatnot, so uh, thankfully it is. So uh, yeah, CPU is already in there, and this is a uh, Core i5-2400S, I believe. Uh, yeah, 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 it is. A uh, i5-2400S, so a second generation. Core i5, and you're probably thinking, oh my god, that's so old. Again, for light work, uh, old CPUs, well, they aged quite well because, uh, well, Windows also got um, better while uh, handled by uh, older CPUs. So, uh, yeah, CPU is already in there. As you can see, I, I, I would like to show you the uh, motherboard and whatnot, but uh, again, I don't, I don't have anything to say. It is just from... Uh, Alienware, so uh, sure, it uses DDR3, and uh, we are going to use this um, this kit from uh, Kingston of low-profile RAM uh, or very low-profile RAM. The, this is uh, I don't know, man. It is very very small, but sure. Which, as always, goes uh, in the uh, RAM slots, like so. By the way, this is uh, what is this? I don't know. Let me check. Oh yeah, 4 plus 4. So uh, 8 gigabytes of uh, RAM. It is the bare minimum nowadays for uh, gaming and whatnot. But well, this isn't a machine to play games. Although you can play some games in here. You, I don't know, if you want to play Doom, sure, <laughs> it will work. And uh, SimCity 2000 will also work. And uh, well, you can play some uh, modern-ish games. RAM is in place because this came from a uh, Alienware pre-built. I uh, I got it like this. It also has some um, integrated wireless network where we can just get a. Uh, well, this is something that uh, I also I always have some uh, spares from uh, broken laptops and whatnot. This is uh, the case and uh, we are going to put it in there like so and look at that we have wi-fi you know just a couple of screws to secure it in place and if you're wondering well how will we get the signal i have the uh, antenna right here which uh, again came also from a or also came from a laptop and we are going to plug the cables right there but not at this moment for cooling 
Another spare thing that I had uh, laying around, it's uh, almost as big as the motherboard, but uh, sure, we are going to use it in here, therefore the low profile RAM, but uh, first we need some uh, thermal paste, so we are going to uh, put uh, a little bit in there, and here, and here. I also uh, always like to do this, uh, I don't know, it looks a... Uh, the the five face of a dice if uh, that is a thing and now we can put our cooler in place it secures in place from this side which behind the camera is always a hard thing to do there it is look at that now uh, you can see a little bit of the motherboard <laughs> and the rest is covered by a uh, giant cooler we can plug our fan right now and there you go look at that we are ready to put this in a pc case and the pc case is the only thing that i'm gonna use new stuff that we are going to use also a samsung 128 gigabytes for our main storage our operating system here we have a seagate one terabyte hard drive again from a laptop because well it is a power conscious machine and whatnot and we don't need a fast drive it's just for mass storage one terabyte we are going to use also a um, discrete gpu because well although this has an integrated graphics card in there or a uh, igpu uh, well it would use the um, system memory and whatnot so uh, no we are going to use this one which is uh, well this is uh, hd 5450 one gigabyte of vram more than enough for work there you go and it has hdmi that's something that i um, wanted because well it is a modern connection and uh, it also works as an audio output so uh, sure for power supply, we are going to use a power supply from uh, Tuk. I believe. <laughs> yeah, Tuk. 500 watts. It's a um, thing which supplies power to the rest of the hardware. And uh, I say that's okay. So yeah, let's put this crap inside. And for PC case, we are going to use this. This is a um, micro ATX case, although it only has two expansion slots in there, but it fits a micro ATX motherboard. So uh, it's fine for our uh, micro ITX. And uh, I don't know, it is an elegant case. By the way, uh, uh, this is a Cool Link. Uh, what is it? I don't know, man. Uh, cool Link satellite. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. An elegant case, mesh at the front. It has some ventilation going on. I did put a um, low profile. 120 millimeter fan in there as an exhaust because uh, well this came with a regular fan and would go against the um, giant cpu cooler so uh, yeah i know i think it's lovely so let's put things inside so uh, in goes our itx motherboard there you go it is aligned so uh, we gotta screw it in place So motherboard is in there, gonna take the opportunity before putting the uh, power supply in there to uh, plug some uh, cables like USB, there you go, and uh, I don't know, maybe the uh, audio cable for our front panel connectors, there it is. So now we can put our power supply in there, the fan faces the front of the case, So, uh, well, it can push some uh, air, there you go. So as the power, uh, the power supply, sure, the power supply stays inside, it will be uh, covered. We have this thing to plug in there, which brings the power from the back to the power supply, so... Uh, it's as easy as that. 
now we have this um, bracket thing that goes in here which will hold both our um, drives so uh, it's gonna stay like this sure there you go all out on screws SSD in our mechanical hard drive this will go in here like that but uh, before we do that let's uh, work on some cables so as you can see cables are uh, connected somewhat routed I'm gonna put some zip ties in here oh. and uh, I couldn't find any documentation on this motherboard but luckily it is uh, perfectly labeled for the uh, front uh, I.O. thing so um, Wi-Fi antenna is uh, plugged in there and uh, well, it just goes out the back so uh, I suppose we can put or try to put our uh, dedicated GPU in here which doesn't want to go in ah there you go ah there it is just gotta screw it in there there it is what a what a lovely work ah, I'm beginning to enjoy these uh, small form factor cases now we gotta put our hard drives in there just uh, securing it with uh, four screws there you go so the only thing uh, left to do is to uh, plug cables in here and in here so yeah I'm gonna route this uh, well <laughs> route this and uh, we will be back there you go look at that I think it's lovely well it's not obstructing anything and our GPU is passive and uh, so <laughs> sure it's fine look at the front look at the uh, other side again I think it is a pretty elegant case by the way for uh, IO we have a separated microphone and a headphone audio jacks USB 3 reset button power button and your uh, LEDs in there so uh, yeah let's uh, put the cover thing uh, on and uh, we're going to install windows well and uh, here we are or uh, there I am uh, my reflection on my uh, monitor well the PC is here so um, let's power it on to see if things working uh, we, well, I forgot that this has uh, fixed RGB inside and there we go Alienware X51 well that was fast so <laughs> uh, Windows 10 is uh, installed and uh, up and running I am using a lighter version of Windows 10 which is better for old CPUs uh, lighter version which <laughs> well as you can see it is working we have our Core i5 2400s 2.5 gigahertz 8 gigabytes of RAM installed so uh, everything looks good uh, let's check our device manager there you go everything is installed nice and correctly task manager and whatnot there you go it's doing things so uh, yeah everything is up and running there we have our uh, two hard drives so uh, yeah there you go I'll probably do a video on this uh, lighter version thing of um, Windows 10 I don't know probably <laughs> we'll see so uh, yeah there you go this was a very quick video on uh, how to uh, build a machine that you can use for light work or to uh, in this case remotely access your machine at work and uh, work from there so uh, yeah everything uh, turned out great and uh, I'm gonna call this a uh, video again I, I really enjoy the uh, small 
form factor of things. So uh, yeah, again, quick video, 150 euro dollars PC. Well, it was 160, but um, I'm going to call it 150. But uh, sure, that someone will uh, use for uh, work. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, leave it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Your support is always very much appreciated. Stay tuned for uh, more videos. Again, I'll probably do one on the uh, Windows 10 uh, lighter version of things. So, uh, sure. Again, thank you for watching. Until my next video, please do, as always, take care.